So this is actually pretty close to home. This is not like usually this robot food stuff is in Singapore or, or, or Tokyo or something like that. This is actually in Jersey City, which is AKA the sixth borough for some people. For some reason it's the sixth borough to gentrify in real estate agents. But um, but Jersey City recently got the one of the first robot vending machines that makes a burger. I'm gonna pop this article up, up for you guys. So you can check this out. The Robo Burger. Maybe I remember amazing. they cobbled together. Remember, they cobbled together this technology in just two years. So because because it is the fault of the poor people for wanting to be compensated Please properly for their work. Me a meal, and I finally get my chance in a New Jersey shopping mall. This is a Robo Burger. It's a nearly seven foot tall and five and a half foot wide vending machine. It cooks and serves hamburgers without any human help. I'm putting it to the test just before Pause the first machine and run that back. Run that back. This week, because I, I want you to see, I want you to see the friendly face that they put on disenfranchising. This is Robo Burger. It's a nearly seven foot tall and five Listen, and a half carefully. foot wide vending machine. It cooks and serves hamburgers without any human help. I'm putting it to the test just before the first machine officially launches to guests this week. Without and any human ball. help, in an empty ass mall. No one has money to buy anything. <laughs> yo, yo, dude, dude, we can fucking end the segment right here. Thank you for watching. Like, you know, follow us on on all social media because, like that that right there encapsulates the the, the entire story. An empty mall with a vending machine that cooks burgers to nobody that can afford it because the mall is empty. To show off their creation. And give me the backstory behind this. So they give you a backstory. Handling the ingredients is. They give you back shots. They give you shit. It's really <laughs> synchronizing the dance that happens within a commercial kitchen. CEO Audley Wilson tells me that for the past 17 years, he has been on a quest to create a robot that makes food. Uh, 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 pause, 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 pause. So, so we were led to believe that the fight for 15 that started 15 years ago is what oh. caused this. This guy said 17 years he's been in a quest to make sure that we have poor people that are having their belongings shoveled into a trash vehicle. He, they, they just said it. Yeah, keep the wage Long there. before anybody was talking about raising the minimum wage, they've been looking to make sure that people can't earn a living at well, every for, fucking then, turn. For how long was the wage? 700, 725 was since 2009. That's the last time the wage was raised. 2009, 2008. When was the last time the minimum wage was raised? Like, fuck 2007, 2007, 2008, something like that. <laughs> Damn, Yo, like we over here, like trying to figure out what was the last time, you know, a significant portion of the country got a pay bump. Meanwhile, we got to hear about this fucking arms race of who's the richest man in the world. Before, like, if they had $10 billion, it was like, oh, my God, now it's $300 billion. Man. He's been working on this idea in his garage for years. And prototypes really began to take shape about four years ago. Because that was creepy. We need to place this is 220 volts of power. You don't need any water lines. You don't need any drain lines. This can go anywhere. The oven is in here. I think I do smell it. I heard the sizzle and there was grease moving. There's things happening. Yeah, putting a pretty white face on abject they poverty. To show us the inner workings of the machine. They wanted to keep things secretive. But as it's described to me, a lot it's, made by, it's made by the homeless people they shoveled out of the BQE. Burger patties, which are dispensed and grilled one at a time. Is that and an upgrade to the cardboard the box that they had before? <laughs> box and it gets all the frills. The bottom bun gets the Heinz ketchup and mustard. The top bun gets a big helping of gooey cheese. And right as the cooked burger is done, in seconds, it is put on top of the bun, sent down the chute, and the top is flipped closed. You can see the steam. That's awesome. It definitely has a fresh burger feel. Like I was surprised at how hot it was. But it's good. Oh. Meat is good. It's, got, it's got a little bit of a crunch from being charred. Yeah, this is definitely something that I would get at a barbecue at home or something. I will say, you should like have a napkin dispenser. Uh, 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 
We're installing a default to Mars. Uh, Dan, well, you can take that somewhere else. We, we've got people coming into the stream with that garbage. Super clean. It's, it's, it's old. It's old and played out. Relax. Yeah, we got. We got the segment. We got the yeah, yeah, yeah. The team says yeah. they receive any like, Do, do you after the segment? National Sanitation Foundation. It's the gold standard for food safety in restaurants. And after every burger is made, the machine undergoes a 30-second cleaning cycle. Damn, no one hired no one to clean that shit. And scrapes the grill clean. You can hear it happening right as you get your burger. Every aspect around where the food is stored has to be designed to be bacteria-free and keep customers safe. Later in the day, the machine's going to go through a more thorough 15-minute cleaning cycle that involves soapy water and sanitizing. I want to know your secrets. They expect someone will need to come out to restock supplies and handle the cleaning out of the wastewater. And they can pay them a below minimum wage. Every two or three days. To keep the restocking process and they'll clean, keep no them making below the minimum wage the by by threatening them to say, "Well, we'll replace you with a robot too." <laughs> and the container is just delivered and inserted inside. Eventually, they want to have an app that lets you order a burger at a specific time, and that app can even use a QR code to unlock your window when you want to pick it up. Not every burger comes out picture perfect. We got a few samples made, and the melted cheese definitely rolls off the side Ew. a bit. I could taste the quality of the ingredients. The ground beef is a special blend ordered from Pat Lafrida. He's become a bit of a celebrity butcher in the New York restaurant scene. And the bun, it's Martin's potato bread, and it's toasted and feels good to hold, even if it's a bit messy. Now, of course, it's pretty basic. I wish it had a pickle, but extra toppings like lettuce and tomato don't seem to be in the cards right now. Instead, it's going to acquire a human being. That's why. <laughs> ketchup and mustard. In different regions, we're going to be sort of focusing on you know, regional specialties of sauces because we're going to be expanding across this country. Right oh, now, of course you will. More locations, especially places like a college campus or an airport where you want hot food on demand 24 seven, but there may not be staffing at all hours. This is a booming time for robotics in food service. Restaurant chains, including White Castle, Buffalo Wild Wings, and Chipotle are incorporating robot arms to Get handle to the point. automation yes, of yes. the fryer for multiple items. There are other restaurants like Caliburger that are using robots to cook the burger patties while humans attend to other matters. Getting a machine until they're also replaced by robots is tricky. And we've seen some early examples of automated pizza ovens. And there are some places that incorporate a conveyor belt system to fill orders. But these are still early days. And yet it is being adopted more rapidly because people are okay with the idea of a contactless meal. What? The pandemic and staffing shortages staffing really spread shortages? along the comfort of the having quality. robots just handle everything for us. Post the COVID world, people are really looking for a lot of solutions where Pause. People, there's less interaction. With so people. less, less go back, go, go, go back, <laughs> go back, go back 15 seconds. And I want you to listen to what she yeah, just said one more time. Orders, but these are still early days and yet it is being adopted more rapidly because people are OK with the idea. They're of so OK with it. Meal. The pandemic and staffing shortages. Are they okay with it? Because people get treated like garbage at these fast food restaurants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let, let her say. Let her say this it next part. Really sped along the comfort of having robots just handle everything for us. Pause. Post so, again, they're trying to hit you with with this fucking straw man bullshit about the pandemic. This technology has been in the works for at least. Two decades. At least. He said 17 years. That was his idea. His yeah. idea was 17 years ago. This is long before any pandemic or any worker shortages or anybody asking for dignified treatment and wages. This is long before then. The plan has always been to do exactly this. Forget how fucking short-sighted it is because if you don't have anybody to work and nobody's making any money then you can still make no profit you have to have a customer base idiots i don't think they just assume that it's gonna be this like a small percentage of rich people 
who won the James from the internet says, yeah, but you can't yell at the robot and demand to speak to its manager. It will never fly in the suburbs. That robot, I know it makes pretzel buns here. Where's the pretzel buns, robot? This COVID world, people are really looking for a lot of solutions where people, there's less interaction with your food. You know, it's been delivered to you safe. We can guarantee it. Less interaction with your food. If you're treating the workers like garbage, of course you can be worried about somebody spitting your food. I mean, that's just what's going to happen. You treat just people disrespectful. Um, yeah, you keep disrespecting these robots. They'll shove that burger through your chest. One hundred percent along the way. COVID was the best thing that ever happened to us because we. What? Is this the most telling truth? Okay. Telling people died, bro. Truth. They're telling the truth. <laughs> They're telling the truth right to your fucking face. What Yo, they think of you? I gotta rewind this real quick. I can't believe this man has said that and they kept that take. Okay, you can keep that. You want you sure he wants to keep that? Yeah, yeah, keep that. You, you, you sure this is the PR we move to make? We can guarantee it, our chain of custody of your food 100% along the way. COVID was the best thing that ever happened to us. Hooray! Niggas dying every day. I'm just the machine. Not that oh, he's do. laughing. So, we can so focus 100% of our lives. attention on the machine and, and, and nothing so else. Burgers and... So we got it right. He's having These a good old time. A lot of ideas for what's possible here. They're even talking about having the option to have a veggie burger or something like impossible meat. We're going to do a plant based recipe, a chicken based recipe, a breakfast sandwich. Ooh. Each machine will be designed for a single purpose. Imagine in 100 square feet having 10 machines and you have a complete restaurant of choice now. Oh, breakfast, shit. lunch, and dinner, all with automation, all. You know, with no people, all oh, people. No people. with no people. Try <laughs> making machine. Yeah. Drink machines. And, and they're so trying to sell it to you like the best thing this ever. This is just the beginning stages. Now. So this is like, so I think this was his. It's kind of like sorry to bother you kind of thing scenario. They're gonna have the Robo Burgers making it for Amazon workers who never have to leave the Amazon fulfillment center. They never have to leave it again because the Robo Burgers are making your food. Um, all the time, so you don't ever have to leave. You got to chew on the clock too. There's no time to swallow. <laughs> this was a fun little field trip. I ordered a lot of sample burgers to be able to do different shots and taste tests. But this is pretty cool, you know. Uh, when you hear about a robot making a burger, you have a lot of questions. Like, is it really going to be that good? But I'll tell you, you know, right who's now, is, who is being disenfranchised by this? Uh, oh, that's not one of your questions. Here. Bite. It's a little messy. Be careful. I can't believe my guy said that the COVID was the best thing that ever happened to us. He said that oh. with his whole chest. He said it smiling with his whole chest, yo. Like, this is the best thing Ooh. that ever happened. Mm. Million people dying, long COVID, people just leaving their jobs, people's lives being ruined. That's the best thing that happened to our to our little project here. Um so mm, I mm, mm. I mean, it's right there in your motherfucking face. And the thing is, they've made they, they've gotten to a point where they don't need to care about public sentiment. They've gotten past the point. I mean, where, I mean if you're talking like that on camera, obviously you don't give a shit what people think. Anymore. Yeah, like like before they had to kind of, you know, use that PR speak to kind of modulate the, the the message that they're putting out into the world. But now that it is matured to the point where a fucking vending machine just made a hamburger by itself with no people involved, and it keeps stressing, no people, no people, no overhead, nobody to pay, nobody to give sick to leave to, nobody that needs to go take care of their kid. And they want to keep pushing that, look, we don't give a fuck what you think anymore because we don't need you anymore. And mind you, you already have the other side of the of the thing when it comes to how actual food is made when the farmers, the the the, the you know, people who grow the vegetables, those people already get treated like garbage. You already know that. People who grow the tomatoes, people who deal with the cows, uh, people who deal with the Make the bread in the factories. Those people already get treated like garbage. So that's line the that line of the food chain is already taken care of. So this is get rid of the whole other food chain, which is like the customer service aspect of it. Get rid of those people. So you know, it's crazy to me that you now this is how they use the pandemic, like it says, an excuse. But this has been a long project, 
long going for a long time of like trying to automate things, scare you with automation. If we wage the minimum wage, we gotta replace you with a robot arm. Uh, so this is right right now, Robo Robo Burger in Jersey City. Go check it out at Newport Mall, the empty ass mall. Go check it out. Oh, by the way. <laughs> It's, it's not going to be at just that empty ass mall. They're going to yeah. spread it throughout the entire country and they're going to have 10 machines with 10 different foods to make sure that you have everything that you could ever want from a fucking robot, right? There will be nobody getting paid. No rent will be paid right now. <laughs> you might get mugged on the way to get to get to the machine. Right? Because they're going to have half the town living in the streets hungry. <laughs> but don't worry about it. If you can get past all of the hungry, desperate people, you can have uh, a breakfast sandwich at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, courtesy of a robot. But don't let anybody see you buying it because they might try to take it from you. I'm telling you, this is this is exactly an Octavia Octavia Butler novel right here. This is crazy to me. So um, so this is Black Power Magic Hour on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Act TV has over like I guess sixty three, six something thousand subscribers on it. And then Dr. Virginia, he's talking shit and playing games live on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and that's some future stuff. Robot Flipping Burger Edition. 